Hello. Working tirelessly lately, that's why I've not made many videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greetings and salutations. I sound like an infomercial right now. Uh, <laughs> I actually completely gave up by caffeine and fake soda about two and a half weeks ago. I feel like a thousand percent better. I'm still fat, bald, and ugly, but uh, yeah, you can't polish a turd as the old saying goes, right? Um, I like for this to be a slightly uh, short video, or a pretty short video. Get to the point, you're saying. Okay, I, can, I will immediately here. Talk about uh, field modalities, and of course, um, when you talk about uh, uh, so called gravity, magnetism, and dielectricity, and electricity, of course, electricity is a hybrid of dielectricity and magnetism, five type psi equals Q and Planck of electrification. So this is a hybrid. So we can actually discount electricity entirely when we talk about, um, uh, you know, grand unified theories. And I'm not actually trying to address grand unified theories here today. But magnetism, of course, is a dielectric field. In other words, the loss of inertia, you know, manifests as these uh, expanding loops. And of course, it follows the Poincaré disk model, the projective geometry, because magnetism is the dielectric field. We have the toroidal force in motion centrifugal vectors that actually denote the phenomena that we actually call uh, magnetism. Uh, these are, of course, expanding, contracting circles, terminating back in counter space. The geometry, of course, of dielectricity is centripetal, you know, like electrostatic charge. You ever, like, open up a box, got a bunch of styrofoam pellets in it. You know, you, you bring your hand out, you got a bunch of styrofoam pellets you can't get rid of. You sit there, shake your hands. That same sort of electrostatic cling is absolutely no different than gravity. But gravity is not a field. Of course, the devil is in the details. Uh, Human stupidity for countless uh, eons, literally eons now. Of course, we have this notion of magnetic attraction and magnetic repulsion, and this is completely ridiculous. Magnetism, by definition and denotation in knowing what magnetism is, and uh, through all observation and, of course, accurate uh, denotation of the phenomena that we uh, know and ascribe to magnetism, um, is the centrifugal force vector of the dielectric field, but magnetic attraction does not exist. It cannot exist. I mean, magnetism literally is force in motion, a centrifugal divergence forming one half of the conjugate geometry of the universe, i.e. magnetism itself, but magnetic attraction does not exist. That's dielectric acceleration. And this is no different than gravity. We can actually say that, uh, I was trying to draw a perfect analogy, but that analogy uh, doesn't work here, but uh, gravity is the ground trying to think of a better analogy and actually stating that gravity is the ground of magnetism, like, you know, grounding out an electrical current. Gravity is the ground. But gravity itself is not a field modality. It is, you know, everything, of course, is unified. Obviously, you know, a pathetic, ignorant child thinks ice is one thing, water is another, and steam is another. You know, as intelligent uh, human beings, supposedly as adults, we would know that these are different temperature and pressure modalities of water. You know, ice, water, and steam are just different temperature and pressure modalities. And of course, we're not talking about temperature when we're talking about fields, but the conjugate geometry of the universe is dielectricity and magnetism. We've already discounted electricity and what it actually is. But gravity is not a field. Well, sure it is. It's a field. We know about, uh, you know, gravitational attraction. Well, we know that gravity is not a force. Of course, it's an acceleration. But we can't actually call gravity a field at all because it's not a field modality. It's a termination of magnetism. It is the ground of magnetism. Ma gravity does not exist, and I'm not discounting, obviously, you know, the phenomena of gravity. That is obviously irrefutable, but what is that? Gravity is an anti-field. It is not something, obviously, autonomous from dielectricity. It's not something autonomous from magnetism. Magnetism is the dielectric field, and uh, so-called gravity is the terminal of a magnetic field. Obviously, it is the erasure of space. I mean, if we have only two things in the universe and they mutually accelerate towards one another, and by the way, that's a misnomer. Just like magnets supposedly accelerate towards one another, and that, of course, is not magnetic attraction. That's dielectric acceleration. They are not actually accelerating towards one another. You can actually see this underneath the supercell, and logically so, it must be the case. However, an ignorant human being would actually think that these two objects are accelerating towards one another, but they're actually not. You can actually see this underneath the supercell. They're they're actually accelerating towards a null pressure point midway between the both. And that's only, of course, assuming that both are exactly the same mass. Obviously, for example, these two are of different mass, and so the midway point uh, is not a uh, physical midway point between these two, but it's actually the midway point of pressure mediation, which, of course, would be closer to the larger object. They're actually accelerating towards a null pressure point between both. They are never, ever 
accelerating towards one another. Uh, gravity is an anti-field. Let me repeat that because it's a really important statement and I don't make statements that are extremely bold lightly. To be both logical and to fall within Occam's razor of uh, a sensible and rational picture of Mother Nature and cosmic mechanics, an extremely bold statement has to be palpably accurate, logical, and above all, rational. Gravity is an anti-field. Uh, gravity is the move towards counter space. It is the move towards the erasure of space. As I've said countless times, and I'm only quoting Nikola Tesla, gravity has no properties. It only has attributes. Gravity is no different than a shadow. A shadow is not a thing. A shadow is an absence of light. Of course, the attribute of a shadow, for example, if you stand in a shadow, you're going to feel cold, but that is not giving credence or principality to a shadow. It's actually only stating the phenomena of the attributes that we actually experience while in the presence of a shadow. The same is true of gravity, as I've said just a few minutes ago. The devil is in the details, but gravity is not a field at all. Gravity is an anti-field. It is a move towards counter space. Gravity is not dielectricity, so-called electrostatic cling. Yeah? We call that gravity. But how is electrostatic cling, like when a styrofoam ball sticks to your hand, or when mutual magnets, uh, two magnets accelerate towards one another, but as I've already stated, they don't accelerate towards one another, they accelerate towards a null pressure point between both. Gravity is not a field at all. But through superficial human observation, we would, through unintelligent observation, and the math, of course, is correct. I mean, I'm not denying any math regarding gravity or the phenomena we call gravity. But descriptions are not explanations, and math does not explain anything. And of course, reproducible results have no bearing on accurate uh, explanations. But superficial observation, one would lead credence superficially due to an intellectually inferior mind, of which there are countless throughout history, that gravity is a field modality. But it is not a field modality. It's an anti-field. When I've said in countless videos over countless years, including my lecture, that gravity does not exist, I'm not saying the phenomena of gravity does not exist, nor am I giving any credence to a denial of the math regarding gravitational acceleration. What I'm stating is, is that I'm interested in accurate, rational, logical explanations of cosmic mechanics and Mother Nature. And all of this will tell you or tell me anyway, or anybody that's actually given it enough thought and examination, especially of all phenomena of so-called gravity, this phenomena we call gravity, it is not a field at all. It is literally an anti-field. It is the terminal of magnetism, and it is the end of dielectric loss of inertia, which, of course, is centripetal, it is hyperboloidal, and it is increasing inertia and acceleration. It is literally the erasure of space. The space has no properties, but it is erasure of the attributes of space. I'm not going to get into the countless attributes of space, but obviously space has no properties. Um, for example, and I wrote this down, just a couple of things here. Saying that gravity is a field modality, you know, is incorrect because we only wrongly perceive it, as I just said, uh, to be a field type contrary to other fields. Um, force and motion uh, vectors of the toroidal geometry of magnetism, obviously so. Uh, but it is the terminal of fields. But a terminal, uh, just like a ground, you know, we went, you use, I don't know, it's a perfect analogy. It's not perfect, but it's kind of close if people could actually paint a picture for it in their heads, is that a ground uh, terminal and a current is, it's not the current, it's the terminal of the ground. It allows passage and, I mean, how do you think an electromagnet works? You know, electricity is passed through a coil, and dielectricity is lost in counter space. Literally all dielectricity is lost, and you have what is left, which is an enormous magnetic field. What you're doing is turning all the energy of the dielectric into magnetism. That's how an incredibly powerful electromagnet works. It terminates through the loss of that inertia, what dielectricity is, uh, terminates that in counter space with the, uh, the coil of an electromagnet to create a, an enormously huge magnetic field. But it must be perpetually fed. When you don't feed it anymore, the magnetism and goes away. I think everybody with four brain cells knows that. Um, well, that seems like a distinction without a difference, but it's actually a huge distinction. Um, gravity does not exist. Obviously, the phenomena does. I'm not contesting any of the math of gravity. What I'm saying is the math does not explain anything, and gravity is not a field modality. 
Um, any physicist or science worth their worth will, worth will correct you if you say the force of gravity, like the scientist, I mean, a halfway intelligent one, of which there are not many, will say, ah, gravity is not a force. Gravity is an acceleration. But they can't tell you the acceleration of what, by what, and due to what. But gravity is not even a field by the definition of a field because a field, as I've said a thousand times in a thousand different videos, this is how you really confuse a scientist. Just ask him to ask you, tell you, well, what's a field? Well, uh, 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 it's waves. Waves of what? Wave is not a thing. Waves what something does. This is a wave. It's like, no, that's my hand moving. It's a wave. Scientists love to talk about waves. They can never tell you what a field is. Until a scientist can tell you what a field is, they don't know anything. And I can guarantee you, you get out, if you took a thousand sci scientists, PhD, doctoral scientists, just said, you got to tell me, it's not a trick question, what is a field? Don't give me the four Maxwellian field equations because they don't actually define a field. Tell me what a field is in itself, of itself. They can't do it. I dare you to just go to a college or you know, if you know a, a physicist, say, what is a field? Very, very specific questions, not a trick question. A field is an ether perturbation modality, yeah? Ice water and steam are different temperature and pressure modalities of water, right? We know this, right? Uh, Mother Nature is not that complex. It's not. It's actually extremely simple, but it's not simplex. Um, this video went on a little longer than I thought, but I could talk about this topic forever and ever and ever. But in a field is an ether perturbation modality. The two conjugate principles of the universe are dielectricity and magnetism. But gravity is not a field. All the math relational to gravity are relational to uh, field pressure mediation with a vector over a period of time, energy transferred. I mean, that, that still doesn't tell you what gravity is. Gravity is an anti-field. It is literally the terminal and the current not the saying that magnetism is a current. It kind of is a current, but I did a, God, that would take a long time to explain. That's part of the reason why the fourth edition of magnetism is taking so long to write. Um, it is a terminal of magnetism. So that's the point I wanted to make. Think about it. Uh, agree or don't uh, disagree. doesn't make any difference to me, but uh, gravity is not a field. It's an anti-field. And uh, it is not an ether perturbation modality which is what the accurate, logical, and true definition of what a field is. What's a field? It's an ether perturbation modality. You know, one ether perturbation modality, uh, for example, of course, is EMR. Electromagnetic radiation is a coaxial circuit, longitudinal dielectric pulse perturbations, and transverse electrical magnetic, and uh, this uh, coaxial circuit, whether li linear or circular polarization, is necessitatively uh, uh, is, is necessitated to have these as it rarefactions and compressions occur. Electrical and magnetic currents pulse uh, launch, I mean, a pulse laterally relative to the, uh, the pulse perturbation, rarefactions and compressions of the dielectric at a given frequency and wavelength of the EMR, electromagnetic radiation. That is one um, ether modality. Uh, ether perturbation modalities, i.e. a field, are either circular or linear or they're transverse, and of course the other one is a hybrid, which is a coaxial. I don't know if you know what a cross-section of a coax cable looks like. You may not. You should know. This is the important crap they should have taught you in high school and college, but they didn't, because you didn't learn anything there. Neither did anybody else, so that's okay. Um, but anyway, yes, gravity is not a field. It's an anti-field. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like these videos, and I hope it makes you think, because thinking is important. People don't exercise their brains anymore, unfortunately. They all like turn on the Cartoon Network or I don't know what they're doing, watching South Park or something. <laughs> TV will rot your brain. It's actually okay to watch documentaries. I love documentaries. Like late at night, I'll turn on like a Netflix documentary. Um, real good documentaries have all gone by the wayside. I love documentaries on how they build stuff, like how they build nuclear power plants, I love like hardcore scientific documentaries, ones that are based in real science, which is building stuff, you know, not like harebrained wackadoodles with the uh, chalk to the chalkboard talking about irrational virtual photons or Niels deGrasse Tyson, that stupid, stupid human being. Michio Kaku, Niels deGrasse, I mean, these are priests in the cult of quantum. It's a religion. 
It's not science at all. It's a religion. Absolutely religion. I got nothing against science. I have a lot against irrational, wackadoodle, uh, virtual particle nonsense, hooey, malarkey, religious BS of quantum because it has no basis in reality. It's completely unconnected to reality, in fact. Thank you so much for watching. These people are mathematicians, by the way, not scientists, and that is a really, really, really important distinction there. Thank you. I hope you like these videos. If you do, please click the link below. Tell me what you're thinking or feeling, and uh, yeah, not a field. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye.